There are over $1.4 trillion sitting in Roth IRAs right now. That doesn't even count Roth 401k or Roth 403bs. That is a massive amount of wealth that will theoretically never be taxed again. But what if the government changes its mind? What if they decide to tax those Roth accounts retroactively? This is actually a question that I get fairly often, and it's a reason why some people don't want to contribute to a Roth account at all. Whenever this topic comes up, it's always paired with some well-deserved skepticism about Congress staying true to their word on the tax-free nature of the Roth IRA. But let me start by sharing a little Congress secret that may seem counterintuitive, but it'll make sense as I go along. Congress loves Roth accounts. Unlike traditional IRAs where you get a tax deduction today and then you pay tax later on, with a Roth IRA, you pay taxes on those contributions today and you pay tax when you convert from a traditional to a Roth. This makes Roth accounts, the Roth IRA, the Roth 401k, the Roth 403b, a huge revenue generator for the government. It provides a reliable, immediate flow of tax dollars. This is why Congress continues to expand the Roth accounts. It was first introduced in 1997, then in 2006 was the introduction of the Roth 401k, then in 2010 they removed the income limit for who could convert from a traditional to a Roth. Previously, if you made over $100,000 per year, you couldn't convert. When they removed that income cap, that allowed these high income earners to convert from traditional to Roth, providing a tax windfall to the government. Then at the end of 2022, with the passing of Secure Act 2.0, they introduced even more Roth accounts, the Roth SEP IRA, the Roth Simple IRA. That bill also mandated that 401k participants making catch-up contributions, so those over 50 and making over $145,000 per year, had to make those contributions into a Roth account. And each of these changes have one thing in common, immediate tax revenue. It's actually in the Secure Act 2.0, it's under the heading revenue provisions. So Roth account contributions and conversions are a reliable boost to the budget. But what about all that money already sitting in your Roth IRA? Could that someday be subject to taxes? You've probably heard about Peter Thiel's $5 billion Roth IRA. And it's not hard to imagine Congress thinking, and wouldn't it be nice to tax all those Roth accounts? But I'm very skeptical that that'll happen for three reasons. And I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Number one, retroactively taxing Roth IRAs would be an absolute disaster politically for whoever pushed it through. It's estimated that there are 31 million Roth IRA accounts out there, and that covers roughly 25% of US households, many of who are retirees already living on that money. So if Congress suddenly made withdrawals from Roth accounts taxable, that could wipe out 20 to 30% of their wealth overnight. And in a country where we already have a retirement crisis, this would completely destroy a lot of people's ability to retire and even stay retired. I totally get the skepticism and lack of trust in our politicians' ability to make the right choices, but I don't think this is in their best interest. Remember, they need to get reelected, so I don't think they would be inclined to financially devastate 25% of the country, more so than they already have. Of course, they've already done that through excess spending and the you know hidden tax of inflation that we've all experienced, but this would be such a direct and immediate act that I just don't see it happening. Number two, if Roth IRAs suddenly become taxable, that would essentially end the Roth system as we know it. Nobody would contribute to a Roth if they knew that it could potentially be taxed again in the future. And remember, Congress wants that immediate tax revenue that the Roth accounts provide. And if they scare people off from contributing, then they're gonna cut off that revenue stream. And finally, any attempt to retroactively tax Roth IRAs would face some pretty serious legal challenges. Retroactive taxation, especially ones that fundamentally change the tax treatment of past actions, is often seen as unfair and unconstitutional by the courts. There was a famous court case back in 1928 where Congress tried to retroactively impose a gift tax. The US Supreme Court ruled that applying the tax retroactively was unconstitutional because it imposed a unfair tax burden on taxpayers who had no way of knowing the tax consequences at the time they made the gift, which was a violation of the Due Process Clause of the Fifth Amendment. Congress explicitly wrote in the original Roth IRA legislation that qualified Roth distributions would be excluded from gross income. So reversing that now, I think would be met with some pretty heavy legal scrutiny and would undermine the already waning public trust in tax policy. So while it's very fair and probably wise to be skeptical of Congress as it relates to your personal finances, the reality is they love the Roth IRA due to the immediate tax revenue that it produces. And the existence and the continuation of the Roth accounts is a short-term benefit for them and a long-term benefit for us, which is why I think it will continue to be a valuable wealth-building tool in the long run.